Hello friends, welcome to my YouTube channel. This is video number 8 in click section access series. In last video we learned how to implement data reduction using section access on multi-field using link table and cross join method. At the end of the video, I mentioned that there are few downsides of this method. First one, you have to modify your script according to the number of fields you are changing in your section access. So say you are adding or removing any field, you need to update your script accordingly. I am going to use the same application which we have used last time. Say I am adding one more field here. Then that field I have to add in key data, in key section access, in temp link table here, then cross join of temp link table here number 4 and while creating the final link table I need to mention that field here that is number 5 and number 6 in your where condition. If you want to remove those fields from the main table fact table then number 7 you have to mention that one here as well. The same thing applies when you want to remove any field. So I mean to say when you want to remove order here from your multi section access criteria. In that case you need to remove these fields from all 7 places. The another downside of this method is the cross join this section is creating many number of lines because of the cross join. Let me run the application. You can see here we have 49 lines in a fact table but when the temp link table is getting created due to the cross join the lines getting increased here. Right now it's 98 but say if I will add here one more user, user number 14 and now I will load again and now you can see it's now 124 lines. So let me add few more users. Now you can see we have user admin and user 12 to 26. When I will load this application, the fact table which is having 49 lines, the temp link table is now 261 lines. So this line will get increased because of the cross join. Now consider that you have fact table having millions of rows and in your application could be possible that you have maybe 400 to 500 end users. In that case temp link table lines will drastically increase and there is a possibility that all your computer or laptop or server RAM will be used by this application and there is a possibility that your application will get failed. That's why I already mentioned in last video that before using this method try to check how many number of lines getting created and is your application going to run successfully or not. So what we will do here now instead of doing the cross join with all the users at a time we will run a loop and create a table one by one for all user. This can be done by loop in click. I will show you how to do this. For each v key section access in field value list if we use field value list that means this key section access value will coming from memory instead of the previously loaded table. So in this case what will happen say there are same key section access for admin. So instead of running the loop two times it will run only once. The same will happen. So if you have same key section access for more than one user so it will run only once instead of multiple times and then and we will add here next key section access. Only thing I have to mention now here is a where condition because this key section access is coming from section access table. So I have to mention here where key section access equal to our variable. Because it's a loop I will do some indentation and now I will load this application. 
and you will see now that the team temp link table is getting created multiple times and accordingly we will get the final link table and every time you will see that it is only 49 lines which is exactly the number of lines fact table is having and the final link table is getting increased slowly slowly because of the auto concatenation so you can see now it's a 124 133 147 and at the end it is 261 we can see this data model now we are getting the same same number of lines and same result but now instead of doing the cross join with all key section access at a time we are doing one by one using a loop if we want to test the data we can remove this section access here we load the data and let me let me show you i have created three tables one is for sales table one is for final link table and one is for our section access table so we can test it like okay the user 25 should see data of asia china all 2020 asia china all product 2020 only but for europe and france all 2020 europe france all product for 2020 and audio for all years let's see another simple example user 15 user 15 should see audio and desktop for everything so user 15 can now see only two product for all country all region and all years another example user 16 should see asia data for all countries for 2020 only so you can see asia for all countries we have all countries four countries for from asia all product means all four products and for 2020 only so this is how you can use loop and reduce the ram consumption another downside of this method is say you have millions of lines in your fact table and you have like 300 or 400 users the loop will take some time to reload and create this final link table but it will give you the same result which we have checked in our previous video hope this helps but again after using this method you manually have to write this you have to manually modify the field names at seven different places it could be more if the fields these fields are not coming directly from the sales table or means your fact table. So if this fields is coming from your dimension table then in link table you have to do the mapping load and then get this field at one place and then only you can use this method. In the next video I will show you another method how to handle this dynamically. So instead of writing and changing at many places how can we avoid or how can we write a script so that this will handle dynamically. Till then, happy clicking. Thanks and have a good day.